young into the band you know i think you've said and others have said that in a way it was a use he wanted to get his solo career going so he joined a really successful unit and yeah. um you know and then suddenly to bail out on crosby stills nash and young and go solo all of a sudden Fucking in the middle of the brains. tour would be wrong it's just not yeah it's not right you've got other people yeah, well he did that to steven when they were on tour together but, you know, I mean, he must have felt it was necessary. I don't know. I wasn't there. So. Yeah. yeah. I'm really so. happy, Howard, that you like this record. i got to tell you, man. It yes. makes me feel good. I know you love music. I do, and I really love your new album. And I was shocked because, you know, I do think that people, uh, music's really changed, you know. I thought in the 90s there was a revival. You had a guy like Eddie Vedder in Pearl Jam who was starting to make socially conscious music, stuff that, you know, really heavy subjects. Same with Grohl, Foo Fighters, this kind of thing. But a lot of the music today, and, and they can all sing like Ariana Grande and these kind of people, but they, they I, don't, I don't know, I don't feel a connection to the music, but then again, I'm an old guy. I mean, there's there's some songs on here too. I, I saw you got to uh, work with uh, what's his name from Steely Dan. Fagin. Um, yeah, on uh, Rodriguez Fortnite. Did I what tell you that they... story? How that happened? I don't know where this. No, how does it happen? That oh, you it's worked a really with them? good story. Okay, so they came and played here. Steely Dan comes and plays in Santa Barbara at the Bowl, and I go down there because the the top three guys in their road management are all guys who used to work for me. When is this? So. <laughs> they got me down there, and I'm talking to them, and, and they...